Hello there YouTube and welcome back. It is your boy Cousin Felfer and I'm back again today with something very very big. So what I have here today is actually um, a mystery box, as per expected, from BB Guns for Less. Um, most of my highest watch videos are um, mystery boxes from BB Guns for Less. So this is the um, newest one. I've been waiting. I've been building up to this one. I've been, I've been meaning to get this one for a while because this is the um, two. Hundred pound mystery box from BB Guns for Less. Now I know what people think. It's cheap guns, they're not very good. BB Guns for Less may not be the best company. I don't care. I've had comments like these aren't good for airsoft. Well duh. They 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 are not airsoft guns. And <laughs> it's like, oh, they're cheaply made. Yeah, but look at what we're getting. And like, I don't do airsoft. I don't go out and do airsoft. I don't go out and do military stuff. Be amazing, and if I did, I'd want to try and record it, but I don't. So, what do you say we get into this? That end's very taped up, so let's start at this end. I've got me knife. A nice knife. Uh, I'm say, I have. Uh, no idea what's in here. Let's see. Oh, I've got at least four big boxes. And then we've got to start at the top, make our way down. Or maybe not. Let's. Oh, that one's easier to move. Okay. Oh. Okay. Put a picture on the side there. Do it. Boom. Oh. Hello, beautiful. We have ourselves an M82. New generation airsoft electric gun, 6mm bullets, um, adjustable laser, aim module, adjustable electronic scope, it's got um, variable hop up, which is nice, uh, include handle, silencer, shooting glasses, adjustable electric gun sight, can be equipped with adjustable laser aim mode and flashlight. Uh, it's electric. If you notice, that's black. I do not believe this is going to be a black gun because you need a license for that. If I remember correctly. So, let's pop the um, cellar tape. Let's see what we have. Ooh, pretty. And we've got the manual. What? Oh, this is... Look at that. That's a good looking gun. Well, it's only fair that, uh, we take a look inside. God, this is a heavy gun. Got safety, one shot, also on the side here. I'll show you. It's 
got some charge in it. Oh. Also, we add a few bits, eh? Start off with the scope. Which doesn't go into there. Good start. I'm guessing this, yeah. This bit screws off. Let's we'll see if I can move this closer to make it a bit easier. And this. Already that's looking messier. What else do we have here? We have an understock. Which what looks like, yep. Yeah. Right. Well, unscrew the bottom bit. You can see that drops down there. Right. Slides on there. We tighten it up. There you go. A bit more steady. A little bit. That's a. That's pretty decent. I'm not gonna lie. We have. Oh. We have flashlight, which uh, doesn't actually have any batteries at this moment in time. But we do have these batteries here. Obviously, I'm not going to touch it. We don't need to. The batteries, that is. We'll screw this off. We'll put this. On the other side? Yeah. Sure it doesn't go on the side. It must go on the side. Yeah. Oh, there's a secret way of fixing it that I need to figure out. But we've got a torch, it is cool, neat. <laughs> we have our adjustable sight, which uh, I will have a way of putting it on. Yeah, no battery in there, as to be expected. Ooh, what I found? <laughs> we found a battery in the uh, battery pack. So that's pretty cool. That's a nice way of hiding it. Yeah. Yeah. The sight fixes on top. I'm not going to put it on there right now because I'm sure you want to see other stuff that's uh, come here, don't you? Right. It's a good looking magazine. We do have some BBs here. Put one in it for now. There's no way for me to really show you how this works, I can only tell you. As well as I can show you the damage it does. Try and work out what I've got to shoot at. No, that won't work. Oh. 
can't remember what's in this box here, but let's have a go. Okay, I didn't go through. Mainly because there's no weight behind it. We'll see it far this way. Make sure I got safety the right way. I'm going to find this another day because it that needs weight behind it, and I don't have that. So we do have, I suppose, like cleaning sticks. So to be frank. Anything. We do have a strap in here, so that's nice and cool. Yeah. Also, this is a uh, good looking piece. Turn up on Warzone like this, Call of Duty. Yeah. This is nice. Let's dismantle this. One of these days, I'm going to line up a lot of targets with my BB guns and uh, have a lot of fun because I do actually have a friend. Who um, never fired a BB gun before? She knows I got some. So we're going to arrange a day for us to go shooting. When I say for us to go shooting, I mean like she's going to come around here. We go do it in the garden. Uh, we could do it around hers, but I think her dogs might start chewing the um, BBs, and that's not going to be a good idea. And play to specs. Oh yeah, and we've got a battery for the um, scope. So that's cool. Yeah. One beautiful piece. I'll put that down there for now. It's out of the way. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna lie, there is one BB gun that I am seriously after, and I don't know, I, this is probably my best chance of guessing it because I really want a, a um, proper rifle, or at least a um, sn like sniper rifle, I don't care if it's electric, bolt action, whatever, Ooh, this is a monster, <laughs> Ooh. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. We have an airsoft gun, which is the MB MB 6D. Which, uh, if I show you this picture, is a rifle with a tripod and a scope. It's a sniper rifle. So this going to be my best chance to get one. Let's have a look at that. She's a beauty. Yeah. Clean stick. We have quick loader, which is always useful. Oh my once again, heavy, heavy. We have some BBs. Little toolkit. Okay, it's not. Well, it's the same gun as in the packet, but it doesn't have the tripod with it, so. And um, this is solid piece. So, I wonder what the difference between each of them are. I don't actually know, because there's four pictures on there. Appears to be the same gun, except what 
on yeah the D's got the the uh, tripod and the scope the A which I believe this is is just the gun itself the mo 6 b has got a tripod the mo 6 c has a scope this has neither but this has a bolt oh, oh wow Ooh. Okay. Ooh, what do we have here? Cartridge. Found the cartridge. Was wondering where that was going to be. So that is in there. That is damn cool. Got the um, bit there for the Ujimi flip. The tripod. I'll say with the we've got a little trigger here which level against this I've got myself a rifle plus it's the ideal one so I really really wanted a bolt action I wonder if I can get a shot off because this spring is amazing nope, wrong bag that's the toolkit because it's um, completely, basically, completely mechanical. I suppose it's needed. It has got a. Say so the working parts are metal. The um, non-working pa working parts are plastic, like the casing. Uh, I suppose that's like most modern-day guns, really. Let's sort of take this down. I really don't want to rip the packet. There we go. Now this shouldn't. Allow me to shoot just one off, I believe, being the uh, nature of what it is. Okay. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh. Safety off. That was nice. That went straight through the box. Yeah. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm in love. This is everything that I hoped it would be. Could do a tripod, could do a sight. Not gonna lie, I've got I've got the sight in the last gun which I can attach to this the same principle applies on here so I can do that that's amazing we have loved that tripod and the scope it looks like a proper scope as well whether it is a proper scope um, that's up for debate just be a stylized one but yeah I mean cool. the best snipers around give you ah oh, that beautiful feeling ladies and gentlemen it's safe to say I am a very very happy man Let's put this in here um, yeah instruction on sites and how to use it Uh, the only you say the only key we've got there actually adjusts how it comes out, so that's quite interesting. That's going to be very interesting to delve into at a later date. Ooh -wee. Right. So once again, put that down there. Put it out of the way. Okay, looks like the smallest one on top is actually sellotaped to the bag. 
So we've got to go for this one. This is boom. Ooh, that's a yeah, M4 style. It's an uh, it's from Vega 8908A, one to one scale high performance model gun. So in theory, this is same size as the real version. So you look at it, it's an M4 styled. What? I remember in a uh, previous video, one of my early ones, very early ones, where I actually did one of these. I got one gun and I said it was an M16 style and everyone's going, it's an M4. Yes. What's the M4 based upon? The M16. Because they're all based on the same model. Slight variance. Because they're all part of the same family. Oh my god. This is very light, this is very plastic, but look at that colour. Uh, if you don't know why there's colour, um, because guns are illegal in the UK, all replica guns, unless used for airsoft, have to be obvious non-colours, non-gun colours if you will. Uh, some of the Americans may laugh at that, thinking, oh you can get guns in all sorts of colours. Yes, you're right. Not in the UK. It's much harder. Oh. This is a very heavy stock. Like I said, the, the amount of weight here now is unbelievable. We've got a auto, semi and a safe. Oh, this has been sitting for a while. I can tell. I'm not sure. Oh, let's see what else we've got here. Okay, we've got the top mount, which is, ah, it's actually got the sight attached to this bit. I'll tell you something, this, this has been sitting for a while, this isn't something brand new like some of the other ones are, I can tell you that one. It's okay, we can work with that. After the more I look at it, the more M16 y it's starting to look. Uh, oh boy, this is stiff. Oh, that doesn't actually do anything. This. Oh, that's really nice. I'm sorry. The feel of this going in here, that's beautiful. So that's the gun fully made up. I'll say it's very light, so somewhere is going to be a spring system. I believe it's here. Oh, there it goes. Safe works. Semi auto. Yeah, it's got a uh, safer semi and auto. This safe, as you can see here, is rather brown where this has been sitting on here for a while. I imagine this is quite an old gun. But it's still very nice. It's a, um, certainly what I'd say is a good starter. basic clip very basic BBs in here as well probably should get into the other BBs but yeah whatever Ooh. I've got loads of BBs all over the place I have done for years from uh, my earlier videos uh, let's pop that in there oh, not gonna lie that's, that's a stiff spring which is always useful. Try again. Nope. 
And again, I think lack of pressure. Or the fact that it's literally just falling in here. Like. And it comes right out. So. See if I can fire it this way. I might get lucky. It's in place. Okay, that should be in there now. It's not often you see a gun fired like this, but. No, but it hit. It may be a higher background, but that did not go through. So yeah, this is certainly a cheap bit of kit. Something that I'm sure they had laying around somewhere. But hey, I don't mind. Gives me something else to look at, something else to play around with. Also, I say, I get my friend round to try some of these out. Oh, I don't want to start on something that's going to be too powerful, too much of a kick for her. So something like this actually works out pretty nicely. Where did that come out with? There. The fact that the stock's not built in, I think it's very telling. now basically stuck is very turned as well oh ah, that is stiff oh hit me thumb roll to the chains into my chest so, yeah and this I'll say this cheap Cheerful. Works well. So it works, it fires, it shoots. What more can you want? <laughs> Don't answer that one because clearly it's there. What more can you want? Just the other two. Let's put that over there as well. I'll have to sort that out a little bit. Okay, sorry. Before I get the big one out, I've got a few bits down the bottom here. I've got a pistol, a C6 Air Sun. Do not shoot at any animals. So apparently, it's super power. Oh, ooh, that's nice. Oh my god, that is, that is nice. There is not safety. This is mostly plastic. This bit's metal. If you look at it, oh, look at that. Nice barrel there. It's metal. I'm going to say, it's not. There's no safety on this, unless that's it. No, that's going to be for the cartridge. I'm going to say, the magazine. When put in the right way, it's like that. It's nice. Nothing special. Galaxy, but I'm not gonna lie, that'll do you, do you in a fight. Like you, all your other guns are empty. You're either going to unload this into one of them, or you're going to bust this out. And about you, it's going to be much easier just going pop, trying to get something out. But this is worth more than the last one, 100%. No bones about it, but it's a nice piece. Comes in a nice box. Um, yeah, let's fire a shot off. Go back into this one. Where does BB's at? Cheap and cheerful. I may kick these out. They're going to go everywhere no matter what I do. 
So I like, there's one thing I like about these cheap ones. You can slide it in there and it stays in there. And you know it's not going to move. Get some solar tape and you just bounced off. Now, I can't remember what's actually in that box. It might be something quite hard, but, you know. Now, that went straight through, so that does have some power to it, which is use. It's nice, which is useful. No complaints. Ooh. Those little cheap things there. So, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it's reaching down the bottom of the bag. We have red red site kit, red dot kit. That's nice. That comes with batteries and a mount. You see the uh, red dots there. That's that's useful. Helps with aiming. We have paperwork. Snow wolf. Now, who wants to go to war? Nice. Four thousand point two of a gram weight. Nice. Put that still someone else in the bottom here so we get some big one. Oh ourselves another pistol. This one is the Alloy Enclosed M296 13 capacity rounds, the hop up version. This one's actually serotapes tapes and actually has got a bit of weight to it as well, so that's always useful. So this is better or worse than the other one. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, you, you. You've got to pull the sheaf out. See, the only bit of blue is the handle. That's smooth. Here's a safety. There we are. Safety off. This feels nice in the hand, I'm not going to lie, this feels a lot better than the other pistol in my hand. Just what you want, cheapy bullets. Oh, yeah, these ones got a much nicer set of BBs in here. I just referred to them as bullets just a moment again, but that was wrong. So you've got these proper ones in here, rather than the cheap ones. Not going to lie, that feels amazing. Just that whole... Bounce and came back out. So it may not be as powerful or shooting at a harder spot. Don't know which, but once again, that is nice. That just feels nicer than the other one. And it's a bit weird to say something just feels nicer, but it just does. Okay. Do I have anything else in before I get into this last one? Not by our looks of it, so. Yeah, this is um, very, very stuck down. I think the bag they were using wasn't big enough, so they glued part of the bag to the box. Not glued, um, sellotaped. So. I've got to set the tape off. Ooh. Yes, I've got to cut the um, film off of the um, box because the set the tape straight onto the film. 
and that is not being nice and coming off nicely. Bags are empty, bye bye bag. Let's pop this before I flip it. Feels nice, it's a good size. We have. Oh, we have a shotgun. Very nice. So, Spring Power M62. Yeah, best way to describe it is a shotgun. It's spring powered, it's got 420 uh, feet per second velocity, it's uh, 2,280 gram weight, wow, so 1135 millimeters, spring powered, hop up system, which is adjustable, position missile battle, adjustable hop system, fully adjustable butt stop, bolt action air stop, spring rifle, so they call it a rifle, which I suppose it, it is more of a rifle than Shotgun, but eh, what are you gonna do? Oh, we have a bit of assembly. This is this is going. Oh my god, this is actually amazing. I've got cut so much here. This is definitely not a shotgun. This is definitely, definitely, definitely a rifle. Set oh. up like a hunting rifle. This um I've actually got an adjustable stock here. Which, if I lose some of these sides, I can show you what I mean. That comes up, so you adjust it to the right height, screw the pegs back in. And that's right, sit in there for you. And you see. Got no innards. The reason for that. As I said, there's a bit of assembly to do. Just... Here we go. Once again, we have another bolt action. Ooh, this one's. Ooh. Okay. I'll make sure it lines up properly. Uh, no. Oops. Leave that on normal for now. Okay, that sits in there. What do we have here? That's interesting. And if I booklet, it, because I found some interesting things here that I'm not sure what fits. We have our little cartridge here, which goes in there. There's Allen keys. So there's definitely at least one screw that needs to be put in. Which one would hope they give us. Because I've got Allen keys, I've got 
bowel cleaner, we've got BBs. Hmm. Seems to be missing a screw. Okay, we'll be fine. Okay, sorry. Feel the spring on that. Like, this is really long. I'm just trying to make sure I can get a shot off. Me fact. Oh. We're checking it out. I suppose it's a good idea not to build it in. This is all we need. There we go. That feels nice. All right, let's see if we can do this with this attached to here. It shouldn't take so much to have it behave in the stock. Okay, I don't think I'm pushing that all the way in. Yeah, I think because it's not logged in. Well, I'm saying that. Let's try a shot. I'll say this is beautiful. I've got two beautiful rifles. One is, well, this one I'd say is definitely like hunting style rifle. And the other one's more of a sniper rifle. Straight through. This is a beauty though. You see someone on the farm with something like this hunting rabbits. But won't be hunting rabbits with this. Because this is a BB gun and we can't shoot BB guns at people or animals. But I never tell you that I like bow actions. So yeah. Take it off there, you can put a different end of it. Here we we'll put a sniper end on that. Not sniper end, a uh, silencer. That's nice. Definitely enough for trying these out. So yeah, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you for joining me today. Um, I hope you join me in the next video. If you've got any um, idea, video ideas, please leave them down in the comments. I'm open to suggestions. Otherwise, I'm just doing things that I like. 
do what we want. I like doing things that I like. At the same time, I like to know what you like. Remember to hit me up on social media, D E K U Double Z E N for Instagram and D E um yeah, D E K U Double Z E N dash F F for Facebook and um no, D E K U Double Z E N for Instagram and then K U Double Z E N dash F F for um Facebook. One of these days I will actually get that correct. As far as I, I get it correct anyway, I just have to tell on memory. But you know, that's how it goes. Bada bing, bada boom. Wait, also. Yeah. Easy, Hopper doesn't like going easy. I say, I want to thank you all for joining me today. Um, hope you enjoyed the video as I check these days out. I know it's a bit of a long video, but something like this you've got to go through and actually look at properly. Um, Yeah. Some videos I did when I was younger, when I got these, I didn't go into any detail whatsoever and the video was over in like six minutes. That ain't today, as you can tell. But um this this was so good. Um just picking numbers off of my head. Um two pistols, um so there's 25 each, 50 quid. The cheap rifle, so that's another 30 quid. Probably 80 quid. Um, this rifle, at a minimum, is probably going to be 80 quid. So that, well, let's, let's, let's be fair, let's say 60 quid. So that's 140. Then, bag of BBs is um, three quid. This is going to be about three quid. Let's call that fiver. So that's 100, uh, 145. Then I've got the other big rifles and they're definitely going to be more than 50 quid each each 50 quid is 100 plus 145 if let's round it up to be fair that this without looking up prices this is easily 250 worth 250 and i only paid 200 for it so yeah as we've got a little booklet here anything good yep don't shoot yourself in the face don't hold people up uh, don't hold the, the gun sideways, don't aim it at people, <laughs> keep away from children, and don't break it. So, yeah. Uh, there's a few screws to go in there, but looks like I have to get those myself. Anyway, um, once again, thank you so much for joining me today. This has been amazing. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Ciao. Bye-bye. Toodaloo. Check me out. Bye-bye. Bang-bang.